Hi, I'm Amanda with BulbAmerica.com, and this video is about the bulb that is commonly known as the MSD bulb. So MSD is actually a code that is proprietary to the Philips brand. This bulb is a very commonly used bulb in the entertainment industry. Now a lot of people know the bulb as an MSD, but in fact Philips is the only brand that uses this code. Um, this is because of uh, trademarking purposes. So they've trademarked the MSD code. However, there are other manufacturers that produce the same exact lamp uh, with a different code. So I'm just going to go through those codes for you. So the Osram Sylvania uh, code would be either EMH or you'll see HSD. And then you have a GE code of CSD and Platinum ASD. So there are two types of color temperatures um, that Philips has for the MSD bulb. The color temperature you'll see marked as 250-2, which will indicate an 8500K color temperature, and MSD 250, which will indicate a 6500K color temperature. Then for the rest of the manufacturers, you'll see a slash and then a number behind that. So slash 70 would indicate 7000K, Slash 85 would indicate 8500K, slash 60 would indicate 6000K. So now, two very important things to remember when you're handling your bulb. This type of bulb burns at a very high heat level. So, if you are to touch the bulb with your hand, then the oils that are left behind from your hand would, over time, start to heat up and then they would form a stain on the outside of your bulb, which would affect the quality of the light produced by the bulb later on. So what's really important to remember is, right now, you don't want to handle the bulb the way I am. You want to handle it at the base so that you don't uh, have to worry about leaving behind any oils on the, on the glass. And then also, the bulb comes with a handy alcohol wipe so that you can clean the bulb before use. And another thing to remember is the pin size. So as you can see, there is one pin that's a little bit thicker than the other pin. So this is important when you're plugging the bulb into its socket. So you want to make sure the pins line up correctly with the socket. So when you're plugging your bulb in, you want to make sure that also you're handling it at the base and not using the force on the bulb itself because this could cause the bulb to break. The weakest point is actually where the bulb meets the base. So if you are to put pressure on that point, then you would potentially break your bulb. So you just want to plug it in, holding the base and making sure that the pins are lined up correctly with the socket. So if you need any further information, you can visit bulbamerica.com or you can call us at 1-888-505-2111. Thanks for watching.